everyone. My name is Praveen Kumar Gautam from NIT Hamirpur Technology, where I am presenting a paper, a technical review of nano fluids using in parabolic collector, where this uh, slide represent, shows the parabolic collector, which is consist of a, a trough collector, which is of aluminum or uh, shape of mirror, where we are using that when a radiation is incident on this parabolic trough collector, it is being reflected back to the absorber tube. In absorber tube, we are using a heat transfer fluid, which is basically made up of a copper or a glass tube. Inside, we are flowing a fluid, which is of different material, like nanoparticles we are using. Uh, yes, sir. So is my, yes. This is absorber tube, what I was talking when ab on absorber tube, when solar radiation is getting incidented, the radiation level at angular position is totally different because when in, once the trough is there, trough is incidenting the more solar radiations on the inside curve of the uh, absorber tube, where the concentration ratio and geometrical concentration ratio shows that the concentration of the solar air irradiations this LCR, local concentration ratio, which is, has been derived by the Jetta, Jetta et al. They are using it and we have done the technical review with that. In this absorber tube, there is a uh, which is called as receiver, which is inside the fluid. Nanofluids are used in the receiver part of the absorber tube. Whereas the nanofluids are new class fluids engineered by dispersing nanometers sized materials. Whereas the nanofluids improve thermal properties and heat transfer rate enables them because thermal physical properties are changing where nanoparticles are mixed with the base fluids, which are resulting to the nanofluids. At nanofluid, they are having different conditions. Like uh, uh, one of the properties are thermal conductivity. Thermal conductivity in this, the energy is transferred in nanofluids through the collision between base fluid and nanofluids. Next is thermal diffusion also helps in nanoparticle to suspend in fluids. Collision between nanoparticle and thermal interaction of dynamic nanoparticles. Next is what we can say, thermal conductivity of two nanofluids are also increasing because once they are in the fluid, they are able to increase the heat transfer and all those properties of the uh, nanofluids because of the Brownian motion. Brownian motion is all about randomness inside the fluid, which is helping to increase the heat transfer. Whereas the density, density is all about what we are having in a per unit mass in a volume. If we take one meter cube of volume, we are having the uh, mass of atoms is known, known as density, but the density of the nanofluids is going to vary where we have normal de density, we have mass upon volume, but for, uh, for nanofluids, we are having this expression where we go for viscosity. It is varying with temperature, shear rate, volume concentration and with various sizes. If we go through it, yes, how the nanofluids are prepared, prepared, there we are combining and controlling interaction between them and controlling the thermal and flow of those. Very single step process is just like we are dispersing the nanofluids inside the fluid by just uh, process of sonification or uh, magnetic uh, sterilizing those things. Uh, and another part is two-step method. First step is inside two-step method. First step is direct vaporization of nanoparticles and then condensing it into the base fluid. Next step is uh, from that condensation of base fluid, nanoparticles are made and added to the base fluid. Later, they are stabilized with using surfactant. Surfactant are like uh, Brigham, Brigham uh, material, which is as like an uh, pasting. Uh, these are literature reviews which I have done. A person, Sayyid Mohammed, at all uh, experimented where the fluid specification was taken as nanofluids of graphene oxide, where he was uh, for three volumes, one, three, and five liter per minute, where he was getting the efficiency which was higher. When they are flowing base, base fluid, they are having different efficiency, and the efficiency which we are getting with nanofluids is higher, which is higher by 63%. And in another, Omar, uh, he, he used multi-wall carbon nanotubes, which is uh, increasing the thermal conductivity by 12%, 64% at different temperatures. And another uh, person who used the single nanofluids 
known as silicon oxide or and aluminum oxide the different volume concentration and the efficiency was increasing with this we can say that uh, these are zinc uh, zinc oxide uh, i have mentioned all the nano fluids which are metal oxide or non metals how the volume concentration is changed and how they perform better from the base fluids from which we can conclude that it is increasing the efficiency here the uh, copper oxide with high absorption properties and aluminum oxide with higher scattering properties two nano fluids when are merged with a uh, with a base fluid they are producing a hybrid nano fluids and in that hybrid nano fluids their efficiencies are increased in this experiment process the absorber tube was uh, rotated instead of giving the uh, fluid it uh, with giving the fluid they are rotating the absorber tube due to which the efficiency was also increasing uh, we are having the metallic and non metallic uh, plates nano fluids uh, here we are using a eeas engineering equation solver method is used and softwares are working on this from those numerical experimental values we are getting that how the expression of different density properties are changing here are the alternative designs of parabolic trough solar collector show that the efficiency can be increased so gaps from the literature survey but we have concluded very first thing was the stability of nano fluid used inside the parabolic trough collector because once the time is going the ph value is going to decrease or increase due to its stability it is going to accumulate over one upon one need to develop a separate universal correlation for thermal physical properties because physical properties are changing varying with the temperature we have to give a expression cost of production is more pumping power we have to increase and standard processor conclusions are just how we can how we can increase the thermal performance and thermal conductivity of hybrid nano fluids is more than nano fluids nano particles morphology means shape and size also varying with thermal conductivities fine size nano particles with more brownian motion are giving more effective results because they are uh, enhancing the heat transfer viscosity is also one of the parameter various optical and thermal performance has been done in this uh, field in this work we have used the pt uh, parabolic trough corrector considering optical efficiency factors and mathematical factors here are the references and thank you uh, everyone for having being a patient listener thank you